I did. I had such a good time, you know, um, that I spoke out of, you know, turn and talked to the actor while he was carrying me down. I was in a dying mode, you know, and uh, was reprimanded severely after. And so I was, I, that's how I learned to behave on stage, actually. So, <laughs> speaking of learning how to behave on stage, was Mama Russo a Mama Rose? Well, she was, um, no, she would, she, actually, she was, um, yes. <laughs> she, she actually was, but she was so good at, at hiding it. So, uh, it even surprised me, you know. Um, and so she was sort of well known as a non stage mother. Oh. You know, they, they loved her, and she'd say, no, no, no. You know, I'm, I'm not needed there, you know, well, as she was signaling things to me, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> the story that I shared with you when we first spoke was something that my mother used to tell me was that Reginald Denham, the director of The Bad Seed, yeah. the director of the play, yeah. is that one of the ways, one of the many ways in which he was so impressed with you in addition to your talent is that you came in for the audition and he said, well, where's your mother, dear? Yeah. And you said, oh, I, can, I conduct my own interviews. Uh, and at age 10, you were so poised and so together, he was blown away by that. Well, well I, I, I don't remember being that person, but, um, <laughs> but I'm really excited to know that I was. That's right. mm. um, oh, look, we have two mics. We do. Is that a, okay? Yes, one, one is for the recording, one, oh. and one is for oh, the house. Oh, yes. all right. Yeah. See? You so learn something new every day. So where did the idea from the braid for the braids come from? Is that your idea? No, not uh, not my idea. But um, I'm trying to think where that came about, I, or why that came about. I I think that was my mother, you mm -hmm. know, who just braided my hair. Um, I did. Um, yeah, I I guess that was it. And, and, and it stuck for the character, you know. And she came to the theater every night to braid your hair. Well, she did come every night except for one night um she was then dating my stepfather and so she uh, was not able to get to the theater and i was um braiding my own hair and a little haphazardly you know and um and then the next time she came to you know, the next night um i didn't let her braid him anymore so oh. I took over the braiding of my own hair. Oh. So I did pretty well, I think. You know? <laughs> yeah. Definitely. That was uh, a little a step out, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, um, you said that there was one thing that the director said to you about playing Rogue. Yeah, he really, he made it so much fun. And I know that I never had talks about the, de the depth of her disease and you know all of that, none of that. And he just said, anything I said and felt was correct. So Rhoda was always right in her mind and, and smarter than all the other people around her. And, uh, and she had disdain for a lot of people that didn't agree with her, you know, that kind of direction. So he was a great director. And uh, now you did 334 performances on Broadway. How did wow. you keep it fresh for all those performances? That's a lot. Boy, I think you just learn how to be there each night, you know, or each day. It's it's a new day. It's a new night. That's the fun about theater is yeah. that the audience, yeah, the audiences make it uh, right. do it with you. Yes. And and it alters you. And you alter them. You know, it's terrific. Absolutely. I love that. Yeah. So Nancy Kelly won the Tony for uh, for playing Christine. Oh, uh, what, what was she like? She Is did. That funny? Yes. And what was she like to work with? Oh gosh. Well, she was many things. <laughs> you know. <laughs> as, we, <laughs> as, as we all are. No, no, no. Um, um, she was many things in that she was a, a star. She was a star when she was 17 in films, you know. And she was also um, uh, a woman who was um, <clears throat> caring. I, I, I have to say, she was so good with me. And, but there was that, you know, I am, I am the star thing that you talked about. Um, and 
I loved her a lot because she, a lot, we had a lot of fun. We would, she would order from uh, Sardi's once in, uh, on matinee days, sometimes. And we had matching uh, theater robes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, <laughs> and, we, and I loved the cream spinach from Sardi's. And mm, I was man. so depressed last year to find out they don't have it anymore. Oh. And it's all gone. Um, <laughs> now, you had said there were one or two things that she, as wonderful as she was to work with, yeah. there were one or two ways in which she um, complained about you. Yes. Well, I was growing, you know, I was, uh, it was a stretch of time, and uh, and I was a good eater, you know. Oh, no. So, <laughs> and she had to reach over the couch and, and lift me at a certain oh, point no. where I was in a dead, dead mode. And... Uh, and I was getting heavier, oh, no. so, <laughs> so she was, you know, pulling her back out and all kinds of things. Wow. Um, so she, she had a, she wanted me to, you know, not gain so much weight. That's what. But I didn't look, didn't look. chunky at all in the. Oh, <laughs> you know? um, and there was something else about oh, what you ate. Oh yes. Oh. Well, being Italian Irish. Uh, a lot of garlic in my life, oh. and, uh, uh -huh. and so she, you know, asked. She requested that I refrain from the garlic. So, uh, but you know, and, and it's, it's, to look back now, it's like laughable. Sure. You know, Apparently, there was while she smelled garlic on your breath. There was something you <laughs> smelled oh, on her oh, breath. Oh. Yeah, but they say gin doesn't mm. smell. But <laughs> <laughs> Is that terrible? That's terrible. So were, were there, was it frequently you smelled gin on her breath? Oh. I, I, that I can't. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I was being, you know, also, you know, I think I was a little hurt by the weight thing and the garlic thing and, the, you know. Yeah. So I was probably looking for something, you right. know. <laughs> now, Henry Jones was, you said he was like, who played Leroy. Yeah. He was like the truant officer for oh, you on the set. He was wonderful. <laughs> he was nothing like um, his character. And um, he, he uh, actually reported, uh, I don't know if it was m my family or some, you know, someone, that, that I wasn't going to school on matinee day. I was, and I should have been. And, uh, or, or had you know, somebody come in and, and so he was very careful. He was, he was fatherly in a funny way, about uh, making sure that I wasn't missing out on my education. And now, there, there was something we talked kind of about with, with Henry Jones, not, not the actor himself, but yeah. the way certain people portrayed, or, or uh, the way certain people thought of Leroy, yeah. were because, yes. of, because of when he sprayed your feet. Yes, I, I never got this, and I don't know, remember I mentioned to you, Oh, I got louder. Is that better? <laughs> um, <laughs> he, uh, I didn't get this at all, obviously. But um, supposedly he was a pedophile. Leroy. Uh, Leroy. 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 Isn't that? I know. When you think about that now, it's like really. But there was a there was a a, a, a suggestion of it when uh, in the film though. But, and it was all psychological in the play. So it was kind of, you know, he, he was having a relationship with me, you know, in a strange kind sure. of way. Um, but in, in the film, he, there was a scene where they shot me from behind and I had a little short dress on and he was hosing the lawn and then he did a little thing with the hose and I jumped up and the shot was, you, you know, my little dress went up in the back and, uh, and that was, sort of a suggestion. I see. Uh, wow. A film thing, you know. <laughs> anyway. One, um, other, one other thing about Henry Jones that I mentioned to you on the phone the other day is that um, his opening night gift to my mother on Broadway, he went to the pawn shops all over Second Avenue in New York and he scoured them until he found a penmanship medal and he had it engraved with the name Claude Dagle. Oh, yeah. oh. He thought it was hysterical. My mother thought it was in very bad <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. He left a, a huge hit to come and be Leroy. He, it was 
I think it was solid gold Cadillac or something yeah. at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a nice choice. <laughs>